I like right. them. Hello, who are you? What did you do? Uh, I'm Tom with uh, Team Golden Age, and uh, we won the 3v3 we hosted this uh, past weekend. Leak. What'd you play? Um, so, uh, anybody who knows me kind of knows I'm already playing Orcist. Um, so we got three of the best cards in the game. Um, whoa. This card's full rusty combo just by itself. Um, three Nightmare, two Skeleton, two Wand, one Brass. Uh, this card's insane because if you open Gear Suit with any of the other Nightmares, uh, you just dump the Brass and you have, like, the extender you need. Um, Gear Suit plus any extender... Uh, is automatically going to end your board with um, Rusty, IP, uh, or if you want to play Dragoons, I don't play Dragoons, a little spoiler, uh, too many bricks. Um, but if Gear Suit plus any extender is Rusty, IP, uh, Double Fog Blade, and Babble, like mm. guaranteed, and uh, that's just two cards. Um, and then also uh, Gizmek, I kind of consider him Gizmek uh, or best, just. Best card. Uh, then we got Dark Warriors. Um, before this, I have been playing Scrap Engine, but because we're now playing the PK Engine, um, they, they kind of conflict. Uh, back in the day, I think I played two boots, but now we're playing one just because everything's tight, and it doesn't come up that much, actually. Um, I was talking about extenders. I thought the best extenders were the Danger Package. Um these are, I think, the, you know, if you're playing Dangers, you got to play these three. And I went with one Mothman over uh, Bigfoot because uh, it's normal summonable. And it, uh, the, the effect to draw and discard sometimes comes up more than I think than Bigfoot would. Um, we played Ash. Uh, it actually came up a handful of times. Um, I, was, I was trying to think of, like, more impactful... Uh, <laughs> hand traps but other than like Nibiru I couldn't really think of anything and like if I went like full combo going first like I didn't really want to like I don't know I just didn't want to see it going first um, and then we played two Phantasme I kind of made a last second call to only play two um, most of the time I sided them out because of just what I played against um, I think it just depends on meta it's kind of like a flex spot potentially uh, here's the best card all day. Mm. Um, this card is absolutely insane, especially in Orcus, because everything you want to go in the graveyard can be sent to the graveyard by this. Um, and then your opponent just can't respond. It out, it, it's an out to the Dragoon uh, negate. And um, it, it also kind of plays around like Lost World with Dino because it doesn't target. So you can still like hit Oviraptor or Archosaur later in their combo. So this card is just insane, especially because they can't respond to it if you discard a monster and everything's like so monster he uh, negation heavy uh, at this point in the game. Um, and then it, on top of that, it also reduces their attack um, in half because it, that just happens to be something that that card does. Um, mm. And then, uh, like I said, I cut the... Um, Phantasmae's down at the last second because I decided to play Triple T in the main because this deck does have a problem against hand traps. Uh, I only drew one once all day. Uh, so it never came up. So uh, it sucks. Uh, yeah, as opposed to this card, which I saw uh, seemingly every game. Um, I also played this over uh, Imperm because I can do use the discard outlet um, and get like rid of Dragoons as opposed to... Um, Imperm like doesn't affect dragoons, and if they still have, like a follow up, they can still do things. So it's kind of like I'm, I'd rather let you build your board, and as long as you didn't summon Herald on me, I'm just gonna drop it and discard like four Orcus monsters. Uh, then we got two return, um, three coming becomes a brick because it's a hard once per turn, or it's an uh, activate once per turn. Either way, it's a once per turn, and then we just play. Really mm. good spell cards. That one looks familiar. Ah, uh, the the foolish. Uh, I've had this thing for a very short period of time, but David and I both had a lot of success uh, playing decks with this exact copy. But I mean, th these are just insane cards. Mon Reborn's a st uh, star um, extender. Uh, Babel's still stupid. 
then we got PK traps. Um, I forgot how good fog blade is, and it's also something you can send off with um, with your droplet. So you can negate an effect and then uh, send it off with droplet, and your opponent can't really do anything still. Uh, and then you have it in the graveyard um, to bring back things like Rusty or uh, your other uh, Phantom Knights. And then it's just another target. Um, and something to put on board. And then we got the one Crescendo. Because uh, this card's also stupid. As for the extra deck, Triple Taya. Um, what? I, I think two is okay. You just got to make sure you know what you're doing with the deck. Um, it's become very resource heavy and making sure you know what you're doing. Um, I think it's kind of like Strikers become. Like it, it's kind of pilot dependent. Um, so you can play two, but three just allows you to do so much and kind of get away with a lot more. Um, Dragoon out. Broken. N enough said. Uh, and then we also play uh, Dragoon out. Mm. Um, Orcus has fallen off to the point that people forget to uh, pay attention to their zone placements on the, their side of the field. Mm. And uh, then you just summon Logirso, and then players go, ah, mm. uh, that, that's an out to Dragoons. And um, yeah, so, so I, I did have a player. Um, I played against uh, Invoked. Um, Eldritch and uh, he made Dragoons with uh, Anaconda and he made sure to summon it in the zone pointing in between the Anaconda zones um, just because he knew I was playing Long Girsu, uh, in an earlier game hmm. uh, I don't know why this card came back hmm. like for real this card's so dumb okay. and then uh, some players it, it forces them to like like, like I, I had somebody hold Ash for the Rusty, and basically, like, if he ashed my combo earlier, I wouldn't have gotten a Rusty. But they they fear this card so much because it is so insane that uh, just this card's dumb. Uh, another really stupid card is Access Code Talker. This card just wins games um, really, really easily. Uh, cut Boral Sword for this um, because you can also like banish your Taya and summon it back off a wand, and that's another really fun interaction with the deck. Um, Big Daddy Zero Boros. I didn't make it, but this card's fun. Uh, Unicorn, which is kind of standard when you're playing your IP, um, turn one. Um, I play this instead of uh, Dragoon Ka Package, which the deck can end on, but I just didn't want to add three more bricks. Nightmares. Um, added this at the very last second, and it actually came up in Top Cut because my opponent decided to summon a Nightmare Phoenix. And I was like, huh. And I made the Cerberus, and I uh, popped his uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyrant yeah. out, and I got the draw off of it. Uh, this fixes your awkward hands. Um, it's a good card. And then Link Karibo actually pretty much allows this deck to be a thing, hmm. um, because your token's level one, and uh, Brass is a level one, so good card. Um, side deck, three droll. I only sided it in... Um, I didn't see it. Um, I, I just didn't see it. Uh, was good in a couple of the matchups I played. I, like I said, just didn't see it. Uh, Lancia. Um, I hit the Invoked Eldritch player with this, and he happened to have an Alistair in hand, so he still had the uh, Macabre on board. Mm -hmm. um, but this card just... I, I think if you're not side-decking Lancia, like right now, you're missing out. Gotta have at least one. Um... One of uh, this card breaks boards, this card's back, so I think we have to play. And then I needed another thing. Got one. Good cards. Uh, yeah, more, more good cards. Um, yeah. And then last but not least, uh, I think the second best card of the day. Oh, okay, maybe not second best. First best is probably Droplet. Second best, Yearsu. Uh Third best is... Um, Ice Dragon's Prison. I know this recently spiked uh, on TCG Player. Uh, get your copies now. This card is so dumb. The interactions with this card is so dumb. Um, I keep going back to the Invoked Eldritch Player because we played each other in Swiss and then in Top Cut. Um, one of the games, uh, he tried to Twin Twister me in Standby Phase. 
uh, targeting my set prison and my Babel, and he discarded um, his Golden Lord. And mm. uh, I just chained the prison, summoned Golden Lord to the board, and he just passed turn because he had no plays after that. Um, this was insane. This is cards insane against Dino going first. Uh, you banish their misc and uh, GG. G G G. Yeah, just just if you need this card, get it now. This card is 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 the bomb. All right. Anything else you want to add? Uh, shout outs to uh, teammate David and uh, Adam for uh, winning this with us, um, with me on uh, Team Golden Age. And then uh, shout outs, crop cards on TCG Player. Um, and then uh, anybody's in West Texas, we're, we're trying to throw events. We know Konami's not doing anything official, but we're out here in Odessa trying to uh, get the people what they want, which is Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh!